Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a logarithmic equation with ln, the natural logarithm. We have ln square root of x divided by the square root of ln x equals 2. And we're going to be looking for x values. First of all, I want you to notice that ln x cannot equal 0. Because we have it in the denominator. So this implies that x cannot equal 1. So x has to be different from 1. We also have that ln x needs to be positive because it's inside the radical and it's not equal to 0. So I'm just going to use the greater than sign as opposed to greater than or equal to sign. And this implies that x is greater than 1. So if x is greater than 1, we're good because x is not going to equal 1 in that case. But we also have the requirement that x is greater than or equal to 0, but that's already covered by x is greater than 1. So let's go ahead and cross multiply now. So that gives us ln square root of x equals 2 times square root of ln x. I could write the x inside the parentheses, but it's usually understood. ln x means ln x and when x is inside the parentheses. And also when I say ln, ln x means log x with base e. And if I use log, L-O-G, that would mean base 10, all right? So those are the notations that I always use in my videos. So after we get to this point, we can go ahead and use properties of logs, such as uh, square root of x can be written as x to the power 1 half. So let's go ahead and do that. Oopsies. 2 times the square root of ln x. And then this one half can be moved to the front since it's a power and we have the log in front of it. So we can write this as one half multiplied by ln x equals two times square root of ln x. Now at this point, it makes sense if we use substitution, right? Let's go ahead and call this something. How about u? Then we get the following. If square root of ln x is equal to u, then ln x is equal to u squared. Awesome. So then we get the following. 1 half of u squared equals 2u. Happy birthday. 2u if it's your birthday. We can go to multiply both sides by 2. u squared equals 4u. And this is a problem for you. And then we can put everything on the same side. u squared minus 4u is equal to 0. Take out a u. u minus 4. You know the drill. u equals 0 or u equals 4. But you can remember what u is, right? u is square root of ln x. So let's go ahead and back substitute. If square root of ln x is 0, that means ln x is equal to 0, which means x is equal to 1. But remember, x must be greater than 1. That was one of the requirements or the requirement. So that's not going to be accepted. That solution is, not inval is, is invalid. Okay. If u is equal to 4, square root of ln x equals 4. And then square both sides, ln x is equal to 16. And by using the definition or by doing e to the power of both sides, we get e to the power ln x equals e to the power 16, which means x equals e to the power 16 as the only solution to this equation. And if you plug it in, you're going to see that it works, it's valid, and all good. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the numerical value of e to the power 16, and we're just going to wrap it up. And here's a value for e to the power 16. It's a very large number, obviously. It's about 8,886,110.52051, so on and so forth. It only gives you so many digits, but that's pretty much it. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and... Bye-bye.